Okay, um, the bad news is my regular streaming software had an update today, and they fucked it all up. Um, so I'm on the Twitch uh, Studio software, which I think I've used like twice, and I was not a big fan. Um, I assume you can hear me okay. We'll see if the game comes through all right. I assume it's going to. I mean, it is Twitch's own stream tool. And, of course, we're back to Shepard running away stream. So could you hear that okay? The the fun and excitement of me getting cooked alive again? Yeah, this. Don't worry. We've got a million more tries. It'll be fine. Uh, wow. Cooked alive and killed before I ever even uh, got hit by the beam. Nice. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here now, actually. Come on! This is just retarded. Fucking long. Yeah, I'm not impressed, guys. We've been doing this for like 30 fucking minutes. Oh, I'm 20 or 30 billion deaths. Come on. You're not impressing anyone. You're just dragging it out. This should have been the scene about five times ago. You know who I am? Harbinger speaks of you. You resist, but you will fail. The cycle must continue.
I killed Sovereign, and now you. We are many. We are more. And we'll work together to defeat you. All of you. You cannot comprehend the magnitude of our presence. We might surprise you. You represent chaos. We represent order. Every organic civilization must be harvested in order to bring order to the chaos. It is inevitable. Without our intervention, organics are doomed. We are your salvation. I have a better idea. We destroy you and live our lives in peace. A philosophy reminiscent of the Quarians. Observe the results. We are your only. You. Whatever species you came from, before the Reapers decided to preserve them, they're dead. They died thousands of years ago. And now they can rest in peace. We did it. We killed a Reaper. Kila. We can confirm that the Geth are no longer being directed by the old machines. We are free. You did it, Shepard. The Geth free to stop firing. They're completely vulnerable. Shepard Commander. The Geth only acted in defense after the creators attacked. Do we deserve death? What are you suggesting? Our upgrades. With the old machine dead, we could upload them to all Geth without sacrificing their independence. You want to upload the Reaper code? That would make the Geth as smart as when the Reaper was controlling them. Yes, but with free will, each Geth unit would be a true intelligence. We would be alive, and we could help you. Our fleet is already attacking. Uploading the code would destroy us. Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people. Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? Upload the code to the Geth. Tally, call off the fleet if you can. Uploading. 10%. This is Admiral Talizora. All units, break off your attack. Belay that order. Continue the attack. 20%. I beg you, do not do this. Please. We regret the deaths of the Creators, but we see no alternative. 40%. Hell. Legion, keep going. Shepard? Everyone, listen up. This is Shepard. If you don't want to be blown out of the sky in about half a minute, stand down now. This is Admiral Talizora. Shepard speaks with my authority. And mine as well. Negative. We can win this war now. Keep firing. 60%. The Geth are about to return to full strength. If you keep attacking, they'll wipe you out. A few years ago, I saved you from the Geth at the Citadel. Just recently, I helped you take out that Dreadnought. 80%. But I'm through saving you. If you keep attacking, I will stand and watch while the Geth lay you to waste. It's your call. Keel us a lie. All units, hold fire. Error. Copying code is insufficient. Direct personality dissemination required. Shepard Commander, I must go to them. I'm... I'm sorry. It's the only way. Legion. The answer to your question was yes. I know, Tally. But thank you. Kill us alive.
Commander. Admiral Run, I heard your ship made a crash landing. Glad you got out in one piece. I was listening over the radio. If Han Girl hadn't stopped... He did. We have taken heavy losses. I don't know if we can. Where are we supposed to go? You are welcome to return to Rannoch at Moron with us. Legion? No, I'm sorry, Commander. Legion sacrificed itself to give us all intelligence. It will be honored. Good. And we will honor Legion's promise. The Geth fleet will help you retake Earth, and our engineers will assist in building the Crucible. As will ours, of course. Admiral, had you considered possible settlement sites? We... The southern continent had excellent farmland, as I recall. Are you... gonna be okay? I believe so, Commander. Thank you. Shopping for another house? Beachfront property. Claim it fast. It's a buyer's market. <sighs> you okay? I know working with the Geth will be difficult. I'm not staying. I'm coming with you. I wasn't going to ask. I think you've earned a few favors with the fleet. I'm asking them to launch an assault on the Reapers. Figure that makes us even. If the Reapers were going to stay on Earth, sure. But sooner or later, they'll come to Rannoch. We did just kill one of them. So I'm coming with you to stop them. If you think I can help. You sure about this? Yeah. I look at all this. This picture of hope and peace. And all I see is everyone I've lost. My team on Haystrom, my father, even Legion. I'm mourning a geth. How crazy is that? It's not crazy at all. It is beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It'll be years before we can live without our suits completely. But right now... Right now, I have this. Commander Shepard, I understand you are bringing a new fleet into this war. Yes, Counselor. Two, in fact. I've read the reports. I can't believe you convinced both sides to stand down. I had a lot of help. We're still facing isolated pockets of Geth. They appear to be Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they're a minor threat relative to the full Geth fleet. Regardless, Commander, you've given us the first reason to hope in this war. Speaking of which, I've information for you vital to the war effort. I'd prefer to share it in person. What if I come to the Citadel? Oh no! Oh god, I'm gonna get killed again! I can't go to the Citadel again? Fuck! Every time I go there, the Citadel's on fire! Or somebody's trying to kill me! Commander, something on your mind? Oh good, you don't have anything for me, thank you! Nothing more, sir. And Shepard. I thought you might like to know I've got word on your mother. Oh? She's alive and well and promoted to Rear Admiral. She's helping us plan logistics for the Crucible. Thank you, sir. That's a relief to hear. I figured having another Shepard around couldn't hurt, and she's damn proud of what you're doing out there. Hack it out. No way to go, Mom. She's not having to go to the Citadel and get murdered by everybody. Yeah, no kidding. Be a group of assassins from a, another clone me with uh, 
a full scale invasion of the Citadel instead of just attacking me this time. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Oh yeah, that's right. I did promise I would talk to him after this Corian thing. Let's see what he wants. Hopefully it's nothing to do with the Citadel. I may snap if it's something to do with the Citadel. Commander, I've identified a problem with our engines. A core overload could cause a plasma vent within the engineering compartment. Edie and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. I'm confident we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? Ah! I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Why is it always the Citadel? Okay, before I forget, I always love the M thirty five names. It's got heart, you know. Oh, come on. The M forty four hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. Damn it. I it still only found the judge because dreadful. of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> You would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Wow. A bear joke? Really? That feels a little low. Yeah, right, I'll wear a, a, a helmet that gives me weapon damage. No, I think I want more weapon damage. Oh yeah, that's nice. That, uh, that totally pimps my health. Oh, but it increases my power damage. Oh wait. Um. Yeah, that's what I thought. Stick the in seven shoulders. Yeah, the shield sounds good to me. Do we have any new legs? More shield, less health. Hmm. Oh, that's a tough call. I think I'm sticking with the health. Because once the shield's gone, that's all that stands between me and get my ass beat. That's enough screwing around there. Do I have any better stuff? Nah, no, it doesn't look like I got any new shit. 
All right, I'll stick with my formal wear. Well, that's great, but could I see some stats on it? I'll wait till I get back to the Citadel. Because that's what I want. To go back to hell. I mean, the Citadel. Let's see. There it is. Yes. It's... Let's, let's pimp that out. Maybe I can use that on guys that aren't looking and, and not get pimped on everything else. Ah, uh, that's probably enough for now. Oh, it's got better rank here, see? Damn. But it weighs more. And it's got the downside of having better capacity than a weight. This thing's had a slightly better fire rate and does a little more damage. The thing I'm interested in is the fact that it's silent. Death one that was the new one. Let's see. Owls bolts to pierce. Reduces the damage for piercing. Ignores. Yeah, no, we definitely want that. Hang on. Is there something better? Lightweight alloys. I don't think I want to burn a mod slot on lightweight alloys. Given how much I don't give a fuck. Increases accuracy by a decent amount. I 
or try to blow through people's armor. We'll try to blow through people's armor. All right. Well, Commander, there's a new message at your private terminal. Oh, good. Four hundred thousand messages. I'm guessing it's four hundred thousand. Yes, I was right. Four hundred thousand extra. That's such a fuck. From Armax Arsenal Arena Team. Dear Commander Shepard, we here at Armax Arsenal are huge fans of yours, and we can't tell you how much we value your efforts in the fight against the Reapers. In an effort to raise both awareness and morale here on the Citadel, we've recently reskinned the holographic enemies in our simulator to look like Cerberus troops. Oh, good. I I support this. We got a huge surge. We got a big surge of uh, viewers' interest when we added Geth enemies a few years back after the attack in the Citadel, and we're adding Reaper forces as well. We understand how busy you are, but if you ever feel like unwinding on shore leave and giving our viewers a taste of what real mi a real military veteran can do, we would love to have you come compete. We've got a compliment. Yeah, go fuck yourselves. Official input required from CSEC Central HQ. RE report number 2843-AD3 stroke F4. Commander Shepard, your presence has been requested concerning an incident involving a Krogan identified as Grunt. Please report to the CSEC officer on patrol on the Silver Sun Strip for additional details. It's mom. Please call from Hannah Shepard. Sweetheart, it's been a long time since we spoke. Too long. Admiral Hackett recruited me to work on the Crucible. Maybe you knew that. I, d I don't know, but that's where you'll find me. Could you please? Could you call me, please, when you get a chance? I would love to talk to you, Mom. Uh. Status update from Invalid Extranet Domain. Geth problems in hardware designation. Legion have requested Prime. Runtimes update. Shepard Commander on platform status. Complying. Pl prime platforms housed in server 02241-14511 remain stationed on Rannoch. Creator forces prevent transfer of prime platforms to get transport vessels. Cessation of creator geth conflict required to assist Shepard Commander designated allies awaiting conflict status update. Um, I thought we worked that one out. Too bad there's not a timestamp. My cousin Dorn from Nav Teal or Teal Vas Grigult. Commander Shepard, the civilian fleet is grateful you have returned our admiral to us. I mourn those who fell on our home world, on the home world, but Zril Corvus stopped many vessels from flying past the wa past the waiting guns of the Geth. The admiral told me you met my cousin Dorn has it on Rannoch. It means much to me that Dorn was not alone when he passed. Thank you, Commander, for all you've done. Sincerely yours, Captain Nav Teal Vas Gorgolilva. Citadel meetup. Oh, God damn it. Hey, Shepard, this Crucible project is intent. Brian and the others are on it round, around the clock. Pretty soon I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. If you got the time, want to meet me there, things are... Things were so crazy on Glicks, Gellix, it'd be good to see you in a quieter place, you know? Hope to see you around, Jacob. Crucible update from Bryn Cole. Uh, dear Commander Shepard, thank you again for all you did to get our group out of that facility in Gellix. Uh, Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never rely on luck, in this instance, I fear we may need a little. Uh, stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. 
From Talizora, Shepard, I wanted to let you know that I'm going to join Adams in engineering. It seems like the best place for me to help, as long as I'm coming with, uh, with you anyway. Please drop by when you have a minute, Tully. Progress report from Shelaran Vas Rannock. Nice. Uh, Commander, with assistance from the Geth, our fleet is nearly back to full strength. We have focused most of our efforts on providing evacuation assistance and support for the Turian fleet while the Geth harass the Reapers. Even with our newfound peace, it seems foolish to risk an incident by putting our, close, our forces in close pro, closer proximity. I understand from Admiral Zen that uh, the Crucible project continues well, though Zen herself seems dissatisfied with the technological capabilities of the device. Though eccentric, she is also brilliant. Hopefully she'll find some way to improve in its functionality. <coughs> I would never have believed you could talk hand down, Commander. Take care of Talizora uh, for me. Kalei Salai. Or Kalei Salai? Shit, I can't say it. Uh, Admiral Salaran Vas Ranok. Alright. So, yeah. Some total, go back to the Citadel. God damn it. Surely there's something better for me to do in the universe than get pimped at the Citadel again. Uh, right. Oh. That's right, I forgot. Oh, Lord, don't say that. Hey, see? We can scan for Dr. Garneau. Fuck knows if I remember what the hell that mission is about, but certainly it doesn't involve going to the Citadel! My least favorite place in the galaxy now. Oh, I was scanning the wrong thing. Well, <laughs> of course it's all the way across the fucking cluster. Why wouldn't it be? Signal confirmed. We have located Garneau. Mavad, Mavad is a metallic asteroid in the very sparse Nahat belt. It has a high nickel and iron content in the form of chemosite? Uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. The rights to mine, Mavid, are belong to TGS Mineral, Mineral Works, who sell their products primarily to colonists of Averna. A close flyby reveals light emanating from its facilities. Population, 152, maybe. Uh, orbital distance, uh, 6.3 astronomical units, or period... Uh, 15.8 Earth years, radius uh, 535 kilometers, day length 10.3 Earth hours. Oh, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now there's a place I can work. Shit. Uh, of course, you wouldn't get much sleep either, so maybe not. Uh, Earth uh, atmospheric pressure, trace. Nice. Uh, surface temperature, negative 142 Celsius. Frosty! 
if someone will walk around on the surface. I mean, it is basically exposed to space. Surface gravity 0. 0.0006 G. Fart and you're flying away. Let's land on this puppy. What could go wrong? Oh no, Mr. Boo. Sorry. Mm. Right, well, I have no idea what to expect. Take Javik and uh, Garrus was complaining about not getting to go on missions. Come on, Garrus. You and Javik can come with me. My loadout's good. Set you up with that. Modify it. Get you a sight. And. Some buster. That. And Garrus. Set you up with that javelin. Let's see. Ooh, yeah, pump up the accuracy. Penetration. Straight up damage. Whoops. Ammo? No. Uh, let's see. Increases damage by 7.50%, speeds perception by 27.50%, uh, enhancing aim for a brief time. Biometric sensor is not a targeting software, adjust to the user's pulse and breath rate, assisting aim. Or lightweight! Oh boy! Um, man. I do like that extra damage. I think I'll just straight up take that extra damage. And let's put you on a better gun. Why don't you step up to the particle rifle, my friend? We all love it so much. Increases stability. Actually, I don't know that that's actually going to help you at all. scope. Oh wait. What was increased accurate? No, that's not worth it. Accuracy, better damage. All right. All right. And 
and I really could care less. Uh, fuck it, I don't care. All right. Health and shield or weapon damage. Damage. Power damage or assault rifle damage. Power damage of squad mates or sniper rifle damage. Sniper rifle damage. And let's see. Armor piercing ammo, you say. Oh, that's nice. Yes, we want to share that with the squad. Increase headshots. Yeah, I think we'll go for that penetration. Penetration. Sorry. Um. This is one I know they'll use. <laughs> uh, yes, Uncle Creepy is in the house. Get working with the uh, specials. Yeah. Well, all right. If you insist, I'll stop. All right. And Java, do you have anything we can use? Slam. Let's see, incapacitated or recharge speed. Recharge. All right. Now I still remember to throw grenades sometimes. Let me see. Grenade, number of grenades or damage to organics. Uh, Okay, take damage to organics, increase damage to armor, or increase damage to shields. Mm, I'm going to go for the armor. <laughs> nice! Was that uh, for real or was that a, 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 a misspeak? We're about five minutes out, Commander. What exactly is on this asteroid? Mining facility. TGS Mineral Works. Small operation. Could be a good place for Leviathan to hide. So, 
So you were talking about penis, and Betty thought you were saying peanuts. This is an interesting conversation. The doctor was right. Anything powerful enough to kill a reaper needs to be investigated. I just hope Garneau has the answers we need. I'm reading reaper enemy signatures in the asteroid field. Oh, good. Grayson said they were shadowing his field teams. If they're after Leviathan 2, Reapers are a good sign. That's not something you hear every day. Take us in. So, why exactly were you telling Betty about Don't go your penis? Anymore, Cortez. We'll grab this guy and be right out. Keep me updated on the Reaper situation. Yes, Commander. Scouting party. And it sounds like they brought some friends. Right in the noodle. Oh, yeah. I think I grabbed the long gun. Let's get Garneau before the serious troops arrive. It's likely the civilians will be frightened. Oh, okay. Going for the full Mr. Stud yard design then. Welcome to TGS Mineral Works. All guests need to sign in at reception. Oh, these guys seem remarkably calm for having Reapers at their door. Oh. Yeah, I think they're all reaperized. <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. You just had Reaper troops attacking your front door. Are they still there? I've taken care of them for now. I see. That will be all. That will be... Hello? Yes, welcome to TGS Mineral Works. How can we help you? Yes, for the tour. Please sign in. You don't seem worried about those Reapers. You know something I don't? TGS Mineral Works is a small to mid-level supplier of tungsten to the galaxy. That's not what I meant. Are you familiar with the applications of tungsten? I'm looking for a researcher named Dr. Garneau. He would have arrived within the last couple weeks. If he's still here, I need to speak to him. <laughs> we have no Dr. Garneau. Do you need to see a doctor? How about I just go in and look around? No. The excess elevator is broken. And now, we're done. Step away. Step away. You don't belong here. Commander, something is wrong here. No shit. Let's look around. Carefully. 
My guess is stranger and stranger. We should repair the elevator. My guess is that deep down in the heart of this place is the Leviathan and it's hiding from the Reapers right now. Did he die? Yes, it was an accident, but he died. Repair terminal activated. I'll set the drone to repair the elevator, but we have to stay with it. Access granted, security log, past seven days. Randall, Jan, Garneau, Alex, Bragg, Stephen, Triffin, Fiona. Uh, the elevator security log said Garneau came through here in the last week. Why are they lying about that? No idea. Let's hope we don't have to look too far. Let's see, looks like science orifices was off, offline. After comparing the stomach contents of Varen from eight different regions, we must reevaluate our current understanding of their feeding practices. What the fuck? Staff, this this new crossbreed appears harmless and would be inconspicuous in an office environment. However, it is exceedingly dangerous. Use extreme caution when working with third generation plants. So, is it just me, or are these people doing everything but mining? Yeah. Even as the many sixty days for complete global starvation, that's the merciful route. Absolutely, that's the data to use. Strain the pain threshold before psychosis is too high. Once the pain stimuli is applied more quickly. Interesting. We should look into that. This is a restricted security terminal. A level 5 passcode is required for access. I don't have one. Access denied. I'm a fucking specter. Although technically my fingerprints were stolen. By me. God damn it. To an increase in electrical storm activity, communication with the beta site, research team have been delayed. We ask all those awaiting data to be patient. Current forecasts indicate that the storms will dissipate by the end of the week. Regular communications will resume at this time. Uh, okay. Yeah, sometimes I'm an asshole. system is offline. This message was not sent. Bryson, it's Garno. I've had to go into hiding, and I need you to come get me. I found another one of those artifacts here. More important than we realized. It's in the mines. Here's the nav point. That's where I'll be. If something happens, I'm attaching a passcode that I hacked together. It'll open any security terminal. Bryson, something is very wrong here. Please hurry. Garno out. So, he's still here. Do we have that passcode hack? Yes. Just input it at the security terminal. Where 
is that security terminal I wasn't allowed into? Punch in Garneau's terminal hack and see what it gets us. Access granted. A ship dropped him off a week ago. Looks like he had full access, then went into hiding for some reason. Unknown male was involved in an altercation in the mines. This gun no human was headed to the mines. Looks like he was taken to the med bay. You're in the mineral lab. A low security, all access area. The med bay is restricted to authorized personnel with active patient file numbers. I've got the file number. Let's go get Garneau. File 7364. Access granted. Is that Garneau? If it is, we came a long way for nothing. If you are looking for Garneau, you have found him. I am Dr. Garneau. I'm Commander Shepard of the Alliance. Are you all right? Yes. Only I'm trapped in here. What's been going on in this place? I was doing my research. Until the incident. They attacked you. It's true. But aside from my confinement, I'm fine. Um... How, how about an option like, uh, what the actual fuck? Step into the light. Whatever's going on here, I need you to focus. Of course, Commander. I need you to tell me everything you found on the Leviathan. Bryson seemed to think it killed a reaper. It's a myth. A dead end. But what about the artifact you mentioned in your message? I did? No. Yes, Doctor. You did. But now we've got reaper forces attacking, so I need to break you out. We'll grab the artifact and go. Reapers. The darkness must not be breached. The darkness? Why do you pursue me? Doctor? Leave the artifact. You will not take what is mine. He is not himself. This is not Garno we are talking to. No shit. You. You killed a reaper. I need your help. You bring only death. He said it was in the mines. We'll need to find a different route. Oh, okay. There's a ladder. Garno's notes gave us a nap point for the artifact. 
The map indicates a service door at the next tram station. Looks like we're not the only ones headed that way. Of course not. Wherever we are, always expect an 80% chance of Reapers. God damn it. Sure, why not? Oh, oh okay, I have to go back down now. I thought I tried that and it wasn't a ladder. Okay, we need to turn on uh, number four and uh, hey Garrus, turn the doors on. That was not what we wanted. So that was the ah, oh, that's the one we wanted. Oh, I see. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Back to mine. Switch on gears as I'm going run into heavy armor. Oh, it's a pitch black pit. And let's see. Really? Ugh. Damn it! Oh, I can't that come from?
We'll need to escort it. Oh, for the fuck's damaged, sake. Its power reserves are limited. Let's make it quick then. Wow, could this be more annoying? That's some serious Mickey Mouse shit right here. Stay close to the drone. Got it. Yeah, you could try some of that, you know. Yeah, some of this stuff just feels like trying to drag shit out. This Leviathan thing may be another DLC. That artifact, it's like in Bryson's office. Move! I've got a shot! Commander, come quickly. What have you got? That human was not the one called Garneau. This is. And he's been dead for a while. So, Leviathan can have Bryson killed, can take over this colony, and he can use them as puppets. Well, anything else useful? Encrypted data. There is also a personal log with eight missed calls from someone named Dr. Anne Bryson. And Bryson. Who... Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Commander Shepard. Are you alright? I think so. I feel like... I feel strange, but... Alright. Do you recognize this man? I've never seen him before in my life. Someone here killed him. Someone here? How is that possible? I'm so sorry. Can you tell me anything about what happened to you? Not really. I, uh, remember... It just seemed cold. I remember a, a feeling... Cold and dark. If dark was a feeling, that's exactly what I felt. That artifact, do you know where it came from? Came out of the mine. Right. 
Head office was supposed to send someone. That's about all I can... Cortez, what's your situation? Can you bring the shuttle? Affirmative. Strangest thing. A couple of minutes ago, the Reaper forces broke off and left. Reaper? What's a Reaper? What year do you think this is? 2176. 2176 was 10 years ago. What? Let's arrange for these people to be evacuated into temporary quarantine. If these people have been out of it for that long, they are in for a shock. No shit. It would seem Leviathan has the power to take down a Reaper and possesses the ability to indoctrinate. Do you think it actually is a Reaper? Hmm. If it is a Reaper, then I want to know what it's up to. How long has it been out here? And more importantly, why? Edie, did we get anything from Gardo's notes? Yes. They suggest that Gardo created a way to block the artifact's mind-affecting properties. The artifact seems to be the key. Agreed. When I head back to Bryson's office, I want you there. Yes, Commander. I want to know just what the hell these artifacts really are and what they can do. Whatever they are, they're too dangerous to have around. And we've got one sitting right in the middle of the Citadel. Oh, fuck me! All roads lead back to the Citadel for yet another Citadel clusterfuck. This time, it's gonna be this thing that took over the Citadel. Ah. Uh. Fuck it, I don't care if there's any more assets, they can eat my asshole. All these assets can eat my asshole! Get the fuck out of this place. Alright, let's see if we can find anything else to do before we have to go back to the fucking Citadel. Fuel reactors. Well, that sounds promising. It's not at the Citadel. Assets versus asshole. Yes. Hey, wow, well, look, an actual fuel depot. Uh, this Garden World's claim to military fame is it, fame is it's that it was, this Garden World's claim to military fame is it's that it was assaulted repeatedly during the Krogan rebellions, but never occupied by more than a to by more than token forces. The Asari cut off the Krogan supply line at the Citadel Relay and drove the invaders out. Today, antimatter generators on the surface and in orbital stations provide fuel for military starships throughout Asari space. The matriarchs defending the planet today have vowed to maintain uh, Sion's legacy. They pledge it will fall to no enemy, organic or synthetic. 
colony founded 322 CE, population 260 million, capital Polos. Um, orbital distance 0.9 AU, orbital period 1 Earth year. Uh, radius 6,271 kilometers, day length 39.6 Earth hours. Eh, kind of a crappy work day, but uh, not, not as bad as 64 hour days. Um, atmospheric pressure, 0.84 Earth atmospheres. Surface temperature, uh, no, I am not having a stroke, they really wrote it that badly. Uh, surface temperature, 23 Celsius. Surface gravity, 0.95 G. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, here, you haven't been on a mission in a while. We'll take you. My loadout's fine, his loadout is fine, your loadout could use some work. Step up to the particle rifle, my friend. Actually, since you don't have to worry about ammo, I could stick you with anything. Maybe I had to stick you with a big heavy gun. It's insanely inaccurate. Well, that does shitty damage too. Everything does shitty damage. There you go. You can take the hell gun. Sure, <laughs> have an increase in accuracy, why not? Uh, let's see, armor piercing or stability. Uh, let's go with that armor piercing. That sounds fine. And for your shotgun. Fuck accuracy, it's a shotgun. Charge. I don't know what the hell powers you have, but it's almost probably not useful. Squad made health and shields or your own health and shields. Um, man, that's a tough call. You know what? Do your own. Carnage with the targets of shreds. Well, me likey, um, definitely, let's impact radius or increase damage. Uh, 78, wow, that's a pretty big increase. And that's, what, like two feet or less. You know what, every time I see one of these radiuses, it's always, like, crappy. Like, if it went from, like, 2 meters to 10 meters, hell yeah. But no, it's always like, oh, it goes from 1.5 meters to 2 meters. You mean if the guys are having anal sex, it can hit them both. Okay. Incapacitate enemies by knocking them down or increase recharge speed. 
recharge, increase damage to armored or increase damage to everything. Hmm. Put the pimpin into the armored units. Uh, let's see. What was fortification? Force armor. Okay. Increase damage protection by five percent or increase melee damage bonus when armor is purged. Um, yeah. Uh, recharge speed or increase power damage and force by 30% while it's active. Uh... Do that. Reduce power speed penalty or increase damage protection by 10%. Or damage reduction, thanks. And then I suppose we'll just go ahead and pump this up a bit. That way you'll get more out of it when I turn it on. Shepard, about 72 hours ago, the reactors at a joint Turin Asari fuel depot went offline. Scans at the station are cold. It's deserted. What happened to the troop station there? Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. The enemy will operate unchecked. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back online. Captain Riley's on site doing preliminary recon. She leads one of our top engineering teams. We'll get to the bottom of this, Admiral. Good. All right, I'll go kill the Cerberus agents. I mean, uh, the Reaper agents. Ah, oh, come on, it's gonna be Cerberus. We Commander, all know it. Corporal Nyrek reporting. Captain Riley is on point waiting for you. Why am I here again? We need a radiation workaround, soldier. Captain Riley? Commander, it's an honor. Commander, Captain Riley has me scanning the facility. It's a dual reactor system, so you'll have to break up into two teams. Roger that. The fuel rods for both reactors need to be unlocked before we can initiate a restart. Your route is blocked. Captain Riley's man is working to clear the obstacles. Understood, Lieutenant. Thank you. Good work, Coslow. I'll take it from here. Oh. Ready your team to hit reactor two, Captain. Got it. We'll cover you till you're clear. Oh, this looks fun. Insta kill. Oh, okay. I guess it wasn't that. Ready your team to hit reactor two, Captain. Got it. We'll cover you until you're clear. Oh, we're doing another one of these, are we? Um. Cut. Whoops. Directional guidance error. Team two, moving out, Commander. Good luck, Captain. This place gives me the creeps. No more waiting. Take the fight to them. Just stay sharp, people. Oh boy, spare parts. I don't think that was the end of the puzzle, though. We're fucking real.
Oh, wait. until something retarded goes wrong. Uh, now. Really? Fuel rods unlocked here. Wait a minute. Commander, Captain, checking movement in your areas. Defensive positions. Enemy inbound. We're ready for them. Holy crap, it's just the Reaper. I mean, oh no, Reaper. Fuck you guys. Riley, status. One casualty, but we're clear here. Warning. Coolant leaks detected. Reactors one and two. System restart impossible. I can see it. You both have to seal all the moderator tanks. I see the reactor two tanks moving to seal. Right, roaming around, not knowing exactly what I'm doing, but moving to seal a tank, I guess. Tank one is sealed and stable. Patching seems to be working. Only one more to go here. I do like that I can fish flat these guys. That's fun.
Space Captain Riley. What about the Prothean? Nothing, Commander. No one's answering my hail. But I'm tracking some movement toward the pickup point. Finalize the restart, then we can rendezvous there. Will do. This doesn't seem like a bad call at all. Commander, you saved our asses. My team is in your debt. Job well done. Report back to the shuttles. Okay, well, that was pretty easy. Good work down there, Shepard. I guess. Without that depot, the entire theater would be at risk. What are the odds the Reapers will be back? I'm allocating a task force to maintain and defend the facility. If the Reapers come back, we'll be ready. I read Captain Raleigh's report. It says she and her team wouldn't have made it without you. I'm glad I could help. I'll keep you posted on new developments. Hack it out. Yay me. How's our chances looking? Alright, we're past the minimum. That's nice. So, the end game requires you to get past this minimum point here before you can go save Earth. I have no idea because I don't remember if it matters the more you've got past that or not, how re really tough the end mission is. Maybe we could go save Earth without ever going back to the Citadel. That might be a good idea. No, they'll probably make me go to the Citadel to do some of the coordinate and then it'll be on fire again. Yes, let's coordinate our attack on Earth. Oh, God, everything's on fire again! Commander Shepard, save us! Fucking people, I can't leave you alone for five minutes. What the hell? Crap. It's starting to look a lot like I'm going to have to head back to the f***ing Citadel again. Ugh. Damn it. I, I don't know. I think everybody just took a vacation and waited for me to come back so they could kill me some more. What? Shepard's been dead? Fuck! Alright, well, uh, everybody take five. We'll let, we'll let you know if he comes back. Alright, let's rendezvous with Arya's fleet and see what the hell that does. Assortment of vessels, warships, transports, and fighters flying under Arya's flag. Yes, okay. Oh, good. This doesn't bode ill at all. Uh, wow, okay. Um, guess I'm going here with Arya. Um, just make sure your weapons are up to snuff. system or high 
high velocity barrel. Oh, I like the high velocity barrel. Let's confirm that. Oh, so it's just me and Aria. Oh, good. Nothing can go wrong here. You know what? It, you just level yourself up. I, I don't care. We're outshipped four to one. And most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So you've commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. A lot could go wrong. The assault's been planned for weeks, Shepard. For now, just sit back. Let me steer. Not the best start to our partnership, Arya. How things begin isn't nearly as important as how they end. Bray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. Head for the command ship. Cruiser, I don't have you on the flight plan. Identify yourself. This is Captain Lentz. Run voice recognition. Alpha Tango Z. We took damage. Seeking repairs. Identity confirmed, Captain. Pulled for approach authorization. How did you get the captain to say that? The hard way. Ah, it's a Star Destroyer. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice and slow. Be patient. Get as close as you can. Fire! Uh, Signal the fleet through the relay. What was our plan here? Oh, we were taking back Omega without. I don't know. All right. We're through. Whatever. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the general. Should be interesting. Put him through. Aria, I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Call it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Shepard, I've heard great things about you. How the fuck do you know me when I'm wearing a helmet? Sorry. My partner here doesn't have much to say for you. She's not used to being defeated. It clouds her judgment. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Ramming speed ahead! Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. Oh, I've been in stupider situations.
Shields gone. All systems failing. We can make it. Aria, don't be stupid. Sound the evac. Damn it. Program escape pods for the station. Let's go. Everyone out. There's no time. Some motherfuckers just ain't gonna make it. Guess that asshole really did upgrade Omega's outer defenses. So it would seem. Wasn't, wasn't that ship supposed to explode and like, uh, you know, break through the, the barriers? Surprise, bitches! Hope the other escape pods made it. All right, what's our target? Need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defenses so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. This is what I brought you for. Ground assault. In combat, what you say goes. Aria, relinquishing command? I'll believe it when I see it. I can be a team player, Commander. I know where we need to go, and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. I'm back, fuckers. Yeah, they've got a liquefaction beam. Oh, we are fucked. Bitches. Okay, but where the fuck are they? I killed all the Cerberus soldiers I could find. Maybe there's some more up here somewhere. Them. Well, there's one. Our pod took out the main exit. Use the controls to lower the blast door. Over here, Aria to fleet. You alive out there? Barely. Holding our own with the Cerberus fleet, but Omega's defenses are shredding us. Keep my army intact, Gerald. That is your only job.
The answer is not very well, which is good to know. Definitely need to grab a couple of ammo tools to repair that. Where the hell is what I'm going for again? Ground team, report in. Bray, you there? Rally them to you, then head for the rendezvous hangar. Start prepping for our ships to land. Well, that's gonna get me best Let's hustle. Every minute, more of my ships get obliterated out there. Yeah, thanks, I know. Fuck that, I hate you guys. Getting close. Those really cannons have to be stopped. Hate you guys. Come on. This way. Oh hang on, let me let me scan some stuff. The next area needs to be repressurized. Initiating. Tell your boss I'm coming for him. Uh Tell what the fuck was going on. Yeah, I, I heard the announcement, thanks. One of our pods. We were lucky. Press on. Lost two more transports. Can't keep up the ease of maneuvers much longer. We're right outside the defense station. Hold tight. Get to the controls. 
How come I gotta get to the controls? I thought this was your station. Jarl, defenses are down. Signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. Come in. Status. Rendezvous site secured. Hangar door is enabled. We'll have them open soon. Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar and dock. Independent power source, life support, munitions. You'll see. So will they. Deploy to D-Deck. Investigate and await further instructions. Yeah, I bet I know who this is. How does that annoying ninja motherfucker? Who gets away because of cutscenes. So it begins. There's a good chance the general knows where we're going. Then no time for sightseeing. Break, stay sharp. You might get visitors. Terrific. Take the far exit. I've locked down the way we came. Causing a stir. Good. Feels good to let loose. The Omega Skyline. Now I feel like I'm back. Strange. What are those things in the distance? Some kind of force field. That's not good. Uh, yeah, um... supposed to fucking do here no no some of my men oh I see I was supposed to Getting close to the rendezvous. Let's move. What? Nobody had any fucking ammo on them? 
Nice. I know that symbol. Looks like a gang tag. The Talons. They used to deface my property, too. Regular gun. The Talon symbol again. Hmm. Could be evidence of a resistance. Might be useful. Oh yes, let's take the time to solder some scrap metal. I mean, I know we're in a rush, but it can't be that big a rush, right? One of my soldiers. What the hell is he doing? Getting killed. <laughs> or drawing that guy out, I guess. Oh, nice. It don't matter. I gotta ammo to fuck your shit up. Uh, could this thing recharge eventually? Yeah, they are fast, which means they're almost impossible to fucking get a fee on until they're standing on you. Fuckers. Need to check out that force field. I dare you to touch it. Over here, Shepard. No, seriously, that was a joke. Don't touch it. Poor idiot. Something tells me these force fields are going to be a problem. Are we blocked? Not this time. Come here. This way. Why didn't you just fucking turn it on or off or whatever the fuck we just did? What are you doing? Letting you in on a secret. Down the ladder. And here it comes. Who's there? Show yourself. Spirits, look who's back. Aria Talok. Nyreen, what the hell are you doing here? Playing cat and mouse mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels, my tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. If you hadn't, I'd be dead or locked up by now. Arya doesn't trust easily. I guess you're a good friend. I don't know. Are we, Arya? Shepard, this is Nyrene Kandros, ex Turian military. We go way back. I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. Ready to put that gun to good use? You have no idea how ready. So why are you back, Arya? 
Egypt. Yeah, before we do that, let's uh, let, let's go ahead and let you auto level up. Reclaim what's mine. Left something behind, I take it. Not something. Everything. All right, where the fuck are we going? All right, what's the Valkyrie? Oh, it's, it's, it's gone. All right, unless it's fucking amazing. I don't think I get a shit. Is it fucking amazing? It's got a low fire rate. Or lower fire rate. Does about twice the damage. It's more accurate. My guess is that it takes ammo, though. A crappy capacity. And a little less weight. Not ready to go to that yet. I'll have to take a look at that later. I would swear I found some mod for this thing. High velocity barrel increased. Uh, increased damage by 15%. Allow bullets to pierce. So, two piercing things. Hmm. Yeah, all right. I'll run two of them. We'll see how that goes when the, the fuckers with shields show up next time. Ah, ba -da -ba -ba. What are you using? You're using an assault rifle. Let's see. Would you like to try the Revenant? Or maybe the uh, Valkyrie? Overall, it's probably better than what you got. We'll set you on that one. Give you a precision scope. And let's see. Piercing, or do we have anything else that sounds fun? Piercing, that sounds fun. Burn. As a stealthy character, you're gonna love this gun. It's got a silencer. Heavy barrel increases the damage by 20%, increases the weight by 50. I think we can do that.
think we're gonna leave you with what you got. All right, let's go. Uh, where are we supposed to be going? You know, having it be pitch black really doesn't help. I cannot fucking figure out what to do sometimes. Oh, oh, there was a corner I didn't see. <sighs> Dear game developers, I get you're going for atmosphere. Really, I do. But seriously, if I can't tell what Great. the fuck I'm Why doing... The cannons on Trying to identify. We'll flank the enemy. Get them off you. Oh, I'm not good guy. Sploosh. Alright, time for a little bit of this. I didn't see you there. And stay down. on our side? Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Fuck up, there's a giant mech shooting at me. Calm your tits. What the hell? Cutscenes for the rest of it. Nice guns. 
Keep the general's forces at bay for a while. Let's get inside. Indeed there Welcome are. Team. Retract the bridge and lower the blast door. We're coming in. I don't completely hate cutscenes, but yeah, there are an awful lot of them. It's like about half of this is just set up for the next cutscene. We're in, lock it down. Arya, I know this place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the general's clued in? Yeah, I feel like a sitting duck here. I have no intention of sitting around, and you both should know I assume nothing. And on that front, Nyreen, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. The truth is I never left. The fact I went to great lengths to keep from you. I'm not easily duped. Well done. But why? I just couldn't leave. Considering all this, I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. Nyreen has military training. We can put her to good use. You're so quick to trust, huh, Shepard? And Irene never approved of Omega's, what did you call it? Moral bankruptcy? Are you willing to help defend it now? You'll find me very willing to liberate this station. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty officer. Bray, keep an eye on her. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for revenge. You'll do what you need to do. And here I thought you might come here trying to change me. I just need your ships Once and a big fight. Once up this bunker will provide recon and secret access to much of the station. I don't give a shit if you completely fuck over Cerberus and get a bunch of assholes killed in the meanwhile. I'd appreciate it if you would quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. What will you be doing? Checking in on my forces. I need to know how many survived the assault before I can plan the attack. It won't take long. Join me at the command console when you're ready. with increasing this command center's control of Omega's operating systems. I've hacked surveillance on many decks, tapped various internal communication conduits, but I can only reach so far. There are terminals in Cerberus-controlled areas, and, well, you could get your hands on them. When you find these terminals, a simple input code will give me access privileges and more influence on station systems. Easy enough. Good. I'll keep an eye on my board, and I'll let you know when my codes are activated. Thanks. Cerberus knows we're here. We'll be setting up combat ships, so pay attention to the roster updates. We also lost some supplies coming in. This is me saying make every damn shot count. Once we get eyes on other parts of the station, some of you will be sent to scout for supplies. Stay smart and alert. Supplies are going to be tight. Lost that shipment. You mean if we hadn't lost that ship and those people? Well, yeah, that too. This is.
this area is still unsecured. Off limits for now, Commander. Fair enough. Just a reminder, Commander. When you find Cerberus terminals, please input my... Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. As, how are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. I see. Shepard, those force fields we saw. The General has them set up everywhere. He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Find the source, priority one. And we'll need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. Then we need to find allies. Story of my life. We've confirmed there is a Merc gang that's still active. The Talons are resisting the occupation. Not my first choice, but they're all we've got. Then it's time to play diplomat. And if the current leader won't join us, the next one will. Sorry to interrupt. What is it? I turned away for a second to offload supplies when I looked back. You lost her. Well, I... We're locked down. She's gotta be here somewhere. This bunker has secret access points to other parts of the station. Unfortunately, Nyreen knows them. Damn it, Bray. If I wasn't already short on manpower. We have to focus on getting the Talons on board. Shepard, I'll meet you at the armory exit when you're ready to go. But don't keep me waiting. Apparently I should have let her kill her. Keep an eye out for panels. I'll cross reference. Shut up! To try and figure out where you are. What's the trouble here? Power inverters are shorting, trying to find a workaround, but no go. They can probably be scrounged up somewhere on Omega. If you come across a set of carry inverters, bring them back here. I'll see what I can do. Good luck out there. Yeah, let's leave the area. Alright. I think we're good with what we've got. We don't have anything to do. Alright, let's go. What's your history with this gang? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? Their cannon fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. All soldiers know they're expendable. Exactly. The Talons are mine already, they just don't know it yet. Just let me do the talking and... Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus to get to them. Let's move. When I'm not fighting my way through Cerberus. Oh yeah, sometimes the Reapers actually show up. You know, the main bad guy. Theoretically. See if I can find any spare crap laying around to help people. You know. Because I don't have anything better to do, you know. While I'm out here. Risking my arse. Well, I can certainly find some credits lying around. One of these air shafts should lead us to Talon territory. The terminal is active. 
objective. Thank you, Commander. I know we're in a hurry, but I gotta go over here and pick up some more shit, cause you know. High velocity barrel for my assault rifle? Ugh! Space key, man. Space key. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, um. Back down. Yeah, sorry, I hope nobody's dying or anything out there like the uh, guys we're going to talk to. Talons. Hope they're not getting killed by anything like Cerberus or anything. Uh, did that do something? I can't tell. Was it supposed to do something? Oh, okay. It opened a pitch black area that I can try and walk around in and see if I can figure out what the fuck's going on when I can't see anything. Here, game developer. Hey, listen. Darkness is a very effective tool when used properly. Power's offline. There should be a control switch for the generator nearby. Okay. Looks like they were using this to observe the detainment centers. That tower is the Talon outpost we're heading for. Looks like the talents are given as good as they get. another case of it's too dark and I can't tell no there's a staircase on this This is one of the problems I have with all these cutscenes. My shit turning off. Just checking, it's vital that I uh, check every possible console just in case, you know. Because, uh, could be a My thing. influence over station systems has just extended by 77%, Commander. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Besides, we wouldn't want to help people too quickly. They might think we're efficient. And if there's one thing I'm not, it's efficient. Oh wait, I mean, uh, if there's one thing I'm done good at, uh, fuck it. Loot! I could only find those fucking couplings. See, look at this. This is just pitch blackness. This is not. <sighs> Dear developer, darkness can be very effective, but uh, when used incorrectly, it's just obfuscating useful stuff. For example, what I'm supposed to fucking do. This isn't a horror game. I'm not lurking in the shadows on a stealth game. There's no reason for it to be this smegging dark. Janet. Okay, and I'm missing something here. Clearly. Well, I usually miss something, so. 
Thanks. Sure, bro. Guess who's running the town? Take care of the wounded and scavenge what you can. I want us out of here ASAP. You heard the boss. Move it. Looks like we found the Talon leader. My, my. Nyreen, aren't you full of surprises? Arya, the deception was necessary. I needed to figure out what your plans were. The people on Omega depend on us. I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gang. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought... new direction. The General's been hunting us ever since. Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. We're done here, boss. Right. Aria, Commander Shepard, whatever you're here for, the answer's no. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. We're here to help. We'll talk about it after we reach your outpost. It's a generous offer. Aria, does the Commander also speak for you? Not the way I would have put it, but that's the idea. All right then. Come with me. Hang on, I saw a shiny on the floor, goddammit. You've improved your biotics since last I saw you. You noticed the biotic grenades? You always did like blowing things up, given half a chance. A hand cranked elevator. Damn, Skippy. It's the only way I get upgrades. Well, I suppose I could buy them at the Citadel if I went to the Citadel, but fuck, every time I get to the Citadel, I get humped. Rampart Mex incoming. Fine. Here, everybody. Take some anti anti mech shots.
That to be a neck down. Boom! Yeah, baby. Okay, so I picked up some sort of a, a special. Still haven't seen any uh, couplings. Well, that was, uh, that was less than helpful. I guess I was this supposed way. to pick that up before, uh, before I uh, fought the Atlas. So that I could, I could blow him up or something. God, fuck. Bad camera angle. Uh, okay. And, uh, Oh, good, there's just a data pad around here. What next? Am I missing some key thing here? Uh, oh, okay. Climb up, you dipshit. going down. Ugh. Weren't we supposed to be going up? Apparently not. We went down as far as we went up. Hope you're not afraid of heights. Uh -huh. Getting real tired of this everything moves a million miles an hour crap. Hey, you guys haven't seen any conduit laying around, have you? Well, we still got some up here, soldier. Watch out. 
Lockdown system's been compromised so many times, it hardly knows up from down anymore. Irene to base. Need an engineer at the catwalk's entrance. Door jammed again. This may take a moment. You're not just using the catwalk as a secret passage to the base, are you? A long drop is the best way to get rid of unwanted guests around here. Are those doors open? They're working on it. They packed the bridge controls. Let's go. Hurry up. I need to get to my people. Boss, it's good to see you, boss. Yo, know, looks like you guys are really hurt, but I'm going to steal your med kit. Commander Crow, Shepard here. I really ought to be doing him in a bubble gym voice the whole time. Hey, hey how was it? As soon as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants. Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before they're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters, and I had to kill them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. I know that feeling, like all my human the friends turned out to be monsters. Her skin. Here, we found more medical supplies. All yours. I. Hey, Commander, I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, sure. Why not? Just reported into the boss. Two scouting team E from base two. Word is the attack on the station was led by Arya and that she's on board now. Boss is heading off to investigate. Try to stay out of trouble while she's gone and don't get caught. Our forces are tied down right now to rescue op. So rescue options are limited. B two dash T. Right. Uh, man, it's 8.30, damn. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no? 
You'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. Uh, wow. Well. The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right, but the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang, and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? Nyreen, watch and learn. As everything's in place, the entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Be ready! Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together we will take Omega back! That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega. My people. Love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it. Of course, you're probably screwed, because, you know, I've got to find my way there, and the chances of me finding my way anywhere are slim to none. There, Tabby. All right, it's getting light. Whoops. Heavy spot on the guy. Hey, you don't have any conduit, do you? Over by the main doors. So I kind of, I'm looking for some conduit. I know that sounds crazy, but you know. 
There you go, bro. Have some, have some nutter, Joe. Thanks. will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. Yeah, sure, why not? You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. Conduit! Has anybody seen any? Damn it! I guess not. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder. Now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much stock in truth and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what, I'll take it under advisement. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Urgently, your attention, if you please. Starting to heat up over. Sure, why not? Tentative excitement. Welcome to Herod's Emporium, human. Relieved. I am grateful for Aria's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Cunningly, I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cerberus takeover. Informative. The general threw out Arya's couch from afterlife. Upon taking over, I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Temptingly, if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. Do you have conduits? It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. I'd rather conduits. <coughs> Still looking for conduits, bro. Um. I know you don't have any conduits. Let's see. Uh. Rats. Oh, there it is. Let's see.
There we go. Blow through shit, but at 50% damage, ignore 70% of our target armor target's defenses. I like it. It's a nice effect. Oh yeah. This door's on lockdown. Enemy access to critical areas. The frontal assault should be less treacherous. Scouts are ready to go. All right, I think we're going to call it here and pick up with whatever the next part of this is going to be uh, tomorrow night. So. I hope you had a good stream, and uh, I will see you tomorrow night. And maybe they'll fix the software that they broke. Otherwise, eh, I'll still get something that works. Till then. Oh yeah, have to escape out. <laughs>